welcome to Wendy's Colouring and today is my confession of the stuff I've bought. Um, hopefully it'll be something you're interested in. I've got a few bits of both kind of things really. So I've got some books and I've got some art stuff that I've just not been able to resist. Um, yeah, <laughs> going to whiz through some of the books because um, some are more well known than others. Obviously, Coco Wyon, not on Amazon at the moment, but before they vanished, excuse the glare, I did get this one. I'm not buying a huge amount of um, Amazon books uh, at the moment. I've got, well, I've probably got maybe 20 Amazon books. Um, and mind you, I suppose I'm not counting RJ Hampson in that, so maybe 30 uh, hours of books. But yeah, this one I did add to it just because I thought it's a little bit different. Um, Mystical World, again, I'm sure there's loads of flips of it. I'm not going to go to town, but they're kind of the images. Maybe not to him. There, I thought there was enough in here that when you just wanted something a little bit fun and that's not too complicated... I thought there's, there's quite a few in here that I quite like the look of when you just want a little bit more easy colouring. I do tend to buy quite complicated colouring um, books. So this just looked, yeah, a little bit easier going for more relaxing colouring. Mystical World by Coco Wire. I have no idea whether it's on the Etsy as a download or not, but it was fairly new out before they got booted off uh, Amazon. Then... I've had my eye on this for a while, I, purely because it looked a little bit different, really, as um, I've got a lot of books, but I haven't got anything like this. Um, Tales of Two Mountains, colouring book by Arthur M. My... No idea. <laughs> Him? I think it is available on Amazon. Ooh, that's other thing. It is available on Amazon if you want to have a search. That is the ISBN. This is not an Amazon book though. I didn't buy this from Amazon. Mine, as you can see, has been signed. Cute. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was a little bit different. I've not really mauled with it, so let's just crack it a little bit so I can show you a little bit. It just seemed quite different from anything else I have. So um, again, I don't think it's for everyone, but and I don't think I'll colour all of it like I'm probably not doing them snakes, but I quite like this page. Um, just felt a bit kind of a little bit different what other book has a cockerel dressed up like that with a cat with a machete not many I'm going to say <laughs> but I quite like this as well there's something like I say I think it's a bit hit and miss for me personally there's some pages that I really love I like I really like this page and then I really like this page but then there's random pages that I'm like nah, maybe that one's not for me I'll do it quite quickly <laughs> So you can have a quick look, but yeah, it just felt kind of full of myths and it felt a bit Vikingy and I don't know. <laughs> it felt very different from anything else that I have and I thought if you want something a little bit different, I think this book kind of fits that category. <laughs> How many other books have you got a bloke riding a cockerel in? Not many, I'm going to say. So yeah, paper is this version I don't know whether the one if you order it from Amazon will be Amazon printed or the same as this one it's not the best paper I think that will, it's better than Amazon and you can't kind of see through it as you can see but I don't think it's going to take very much watercolour it's fairly thin I would say um, but it'll be fine with coloured pencils it's one sided so it'll be fine with markers um, but yeah it's a little bit different I thought it was quite fun little tag back in it but tales of two mountain that's yeah quite a fun little book i thought it was quite cute then when i got that one i also got one of these i've been eyeing these for a very long time and they aren't the easiest books to get hold of obviously they're on etsy they're not cheap um but pedras i'm not I'm not going there but I'm sure you've seen these before. Actually, you know, if you're thinking about flower colouring, this book is beautiful. I think she has a new one out, but I, I've wanted this one for so long that I didn't get the new one. I, I just got this one. I'm going to just break the spine a bit as well before I try and 
flip it. I've deliberately not kind of looked too much through it before I started. So you've got kind of, oh, it's not, it's not in English though, so it's not going to help me as it look up the flowers, but never mind, cute dog. But it was just because you get her coloured version with it as well. That's it's just, yeah, look at it. It's just stunning. Perhaps might be a bit intimidating, but yeah, just uh, I think her work is just so beautiful. I love how she used colour on natural things. It's just stunning. Um, paper is lovely. I think it will get away with some watercolour on it. Again, this is not a new book, new to me, but not a new book. She she has a new one out, which I think is a bit smaller. But I wanted this one just because I've seen a few people working in it in the past and I just think it's so beautiful. I probably won't get loads of hers because, uh, well, let's be honest, this one's going to take a while to do. It's beautiful, intimidating, amazing. Just look at it. It's a stunning book. It might join my Too Scared to Work in file, but I don't care because look at it. It's just amazing work yeah so definitely a book that i think is stunningly beautiful then from amazon japan i got a few that i hadn't got so i've got quite a few um timoko toshiro books but these were the two i hadn't got so i hadn't got princesses and fairies coloring book and I hadn't got fantasy colouring book. This thing is doing my head in. That's come a little bit. Right, goodbye, little bit. Go in the bin because I'm not tolerating a ripped bit on the back. But yeah, I hadn't got either of these. Again, these are not new books. Um, mine are from Amazon Japan, as I said. I'll, do, I'll give you the eyes, Ben, just in case. They probably are on Etsy as well if you don't want to do Amazon Japan. Um, again, there's loads of flips online for these. I'll only do a quick look at them. I'd started work in the one I've got, and yes, they are quite intimidating, but once you get into them, they are beautiful pages. So I thought, well, I want the rest because they are just stunning. Oh, look at this. This I'll be inking out with a pen <laughs> when I come to work on that page. But yeah, I love the costumes on it. They're just crazy, aren't they? I mean, look at that. That is just a crazy costume. Mm. <laughs> why did I get this again? Because <laughs> it's lovely. That's why. But yeah, so I got this one. Oh, look. At, there's a page that's not getting done. This one will, because it's got a character on it. And a frog. Frog prince. Yeah, stunning. And then fantasy colouring book, which again I'll just do you I'll do the ISBN first so you can try and find it if you want to. Um Yeah, it's not gonna be any easier, I can see that straight away, but still lovely. Daddy long legs. <laughs> it's got Alice in Wonderland in it and I didn't even know. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. You know where I'm going to start in this book? Because I do like a bit of Alice in Wonderland. Oh, Wizard of Oz. That's a nice page as well, isn't it? But yeah, I, the style is undoubtedly complicated, tricky. But I think I've come to terms with, you know, I'm either going to just watercolour over it or just work directly over it. I'm not going to worry too much about all these tiny little things because I think they're a lovely book. The drawing in them is beautiful. But I feel a little bit more comfortable about having to work in them. So, yeah, knowing how to work in them. Also from Amazon Japan was this one, which I've seen about since I've got mine quite a bit. So Journey to Wonderland should have translated it and I don't think I have no I haven't um, again ISBN I'll try and link um, oh yeah you can't really see what the ISBN is that because it's not in English I'll try and link this but this was an Amazon Japan purchase this is a beautiful book I wasn't totally sure what it would be like before I um, 
bought it but yeah I'm, I'm glad I have really it's quite kind of nature woodlandy which suits me quite a lot like these terrariums are lovely aren't they and you've got a little cactus one lots of nature in it I think that's just suits me forest that's a cute page as well isn't it yeah I like this book I think it's lovely paper is yeah it's quite good it's not the best it kind of feels it's not quite as good as Joanna Basford I don't think it kind of feels like a lot of the Japanese book paper so I think if you're used to that kind of paper they never normally take watercolour too well sometimes do they so you do have to be careful this is lovely isn't it clocks There's some kind of machine with plants through it. All purpose. What's that say? Purifies. Ooh. Yeah, it's quite different, but I quite like it. And then you've got coloured versions at the front like you get with lots of the lovely Japanese books. Oh, I think this one is a Chinese book. But Wonder, Journey to Wonderland, I think is lovely. Oh, ISBN's up there. Dope. So it's there if you want it. And I think my last... Oh, no, two more from Mamas in Japan. Oh, I can't get them out. This one, which I'm going to pause and translate... Okay, so this is Girl of the World Colouring Book by Anne Yonyi, not, I don't know, but this, again, beautiful book, if you like doing people. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but again, not cracked it. Oh, opens quite nicely, this one. Oh, can't hold it, though. But yeah, lots of kind of people portrait -y poses that's and it's quite pale print as you may be able to see so I'm hoping the lines won't be too strong but again it's one that I wasn't too sure of what it would be like but I think they're all kind of like traditional costumes in the main from various different places. Well, I just thought it was very pretty. And I don't mind doing a bit of fabric here and there, so it suited me quite nicely. And then you've got, as per usual, some lovely coloured examples at the front to give you an idea, and I'm sure it tells you where they're from so you could look it up a little bit more obviously when I use it I'll translate it a little bit more oh look it tells you Vietnam Mongolia Thailand Indonesia but yeah thought it was very nice girls of the world colouring book and then my last one is another of the lovely um, books that we're all very used to so, you <laughs> saggy sans fairy tale fantasy picture book, or the rabbit colouring book, as I'm going to call it, again from Amazon Japan. That's your eyes. Again, there's loads of flips of these. I'm not going to spend ages on them, but basically, it's the it's the the rabbit one that came out earlier. Um, it's cute. It is very cute. And I didn't get it at the time when it was released. So I thought as I was ordering a few other bits anyway, because I wanted those um, other ones that I've just been showing, I thought, yes, this one's going in my bag because it's very, very cute little book, isn't it? Um, again, there's loads of flips of them if you want a better look at it. But yeah, this one with the rabbits. And I think that was all of my um, Amazon Japan 
purchases so hopefully i won't need my phone for translation then i have very much enjoyed working in my mermaid um jasmine beckett griffiths book so i thought that paper is lovely i'm gonna get these two which i didn't have so again they're very well known books they're not uh new jasmine beckett griffiths fantasy art adventure i think there is another one that i haven't got but I think for now this one will do me. I think that's a nice selection of her images in that one. And then I've also got, because I could see it was by the same uh, publisher, Dream of Dragons and Dragonkin by Ravian Phelan. Again, beautiful dragon book. Again, I don't think I've got a dragon. I think I've got a couple of the Colour in Heaven with dragons in. But I thought, you know what, I'd rather have this with the nice paper if I'm going to do some dragons. Um, so yeah I've plugged this one because it has the beautiful paper so I know I can use some watercolour on it and not worry too much single sided so I've got both of those that I'm really pleased with and thinking of lovely paper I've also finally got my Wildflower Folk colouring book Book Depository kindly cancelled my order and I reordered it again in anger with them before they closed and they did finally ship it so again there's loads of flips of this but paper is beautiful I'm very much looking forward to having a go at some of these because they're just stunning images aren't they again don't need to flip it because you've seen loads of them um, last two books so Camila Anjakova's I don't buy a huge amount of her stuff but these little mythical animals did appeal I thought they were a nice quick colour I so wish she did these in this you know the smaller little book uh, pocket book size these would be perfect pocket book size wouldn't they um, I like them this size but they're kind of they're large enough drawings aren't they that they would reduce quite nicely in pocket book size I think but this one again I'm sure there's been loads of flips of it I think it's quite cute and then finally my Etsy purchase for the month which won't be happening too often but there was no other way of getting this book so I have got this book hold on and I'll trans okay so it's girl in love with masterpieces coloring book by pillow G Gina Lee let me put that way so you can see the spelling I can kind of not see the spelling of a name by pillow but yeah I did get this from Etsy um, I'll find the ISBN for you I'll try and link it it is beautiful but I I got this purely because look it's a Gustav Klimt cover and they did send me these two lovely prints to go with so it's the same print but this one's kind of in I don't know how well it shows up on the camera yeah you can kind of see it can't you it's like in purple and red print not just black and then the same image with um, black prints. So they sent me those as well. But I just thought this was a beautiful um, image. So I thought this should be a lovely book. So I think I have seen that Pumble Bunny's got a full flip of this if you want to have a, a look through. But basically it shows you the artist's work, the original artist's work. Um, so you've got Moucha, you've got Klimt, you've got Monet obviously Van Gogh and various other artists and then the work that's inspired by those classical pieces so you've got coloured versions of it as you often get in the, these books to give you some beautiful ideas but yeah I must admit it was a Gustav Klimt one that, and I do love these as well that really appealed to me about this book let me find the actual prints let's skip their versions So, yeah, no pressure, just like masterpieces. <laughs> but, yeah, they kind of, like, I don't feel the pressure to do them exactly like the paintings that have been inspired by. I'm just going to take them as I see fit. Like, that's clearly a Mondrian painting, but I might do it as a window because, you know, I can. It's my book, isn't it? And then I'm guessing Degas from this one and so on as you go through, but inspired by famous paintings and I think that was the 
Starry Starry Night one, wasn't it? That is inspired by having just seen it on her version. But you don't have to do it like that, do you? You could do it something completely different. But yeah, this was the one I wanted to do. I just really wanted to do the Gustav Klimt version. Mm, any excuse for metallics? Yes, I'm going to. But yeah, this one just really appealed. I'm going to bling it up quite bad. She's got a little birdie. And these are nice as well. There's a few of these like that. But yeah, it's a little bit different. Paper is beautiful. Definitely could get away with a bit of watercolour, I think. I'd be surprised if not. Um, ooh, I knew those were just going to flick up. And that's the last one. But yeah, stunning book. Oh, stop squeaking. There we go. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I'll try and link it in the description just so you can find it because it's not the easiest to find. But yeah, it wasn't the cheapest because I've had to pay it shipping. Ah, book depository. Uh, but I don't regret it because it's a beautiful book. Okay, so art things. I've bought a few things... Um, this month well this month and last month but I think I bought these quite a while ago but for some reason I hadn't shown them um, I have used them a fair amount you might have seen them popping up on pages so I've used them on Maria Troll pages twice uh, but I got this one first these were silly price on Amazon I don't know why in the UK they were just daft prices and I, I saw them ages ago years ago I think but I was like, no, I'm not, I'm not paying that for them, no matter how beautiful they are. Um, and even from Amazon.com, they were still stupid price. The import um, price on them was silly. So, yeah, I've waited. They have popped up on UK and then they went on offer. So I, yeah, grabbed this one and thought I'm going to get this one because this one has the colours in that look right up my cup of tea. Um, so Flower Fire. Um, and it has, as you can see little tubes in that I have uh, squeezed some out into some little half pans that I'll show you in a second but these ones are these ones and that little one on the top as well are all the pink set the flower set and they're quite a strange paint paint so they they have a normal paint in them but they have the mica in them and it kind of behaves like it's a little bit like a granulating paint in that depending on how much water you've used you either get mainly just the watercolour uh, colour or you get really intense bit of the mica on them but they they are really beautiful and they're really quite a handy paint where you want a bit of metallic effect but you don't want full on in your face metallic you're still getting a really beautiful colour um, but with a little bit of sheen on it so that was the first one and I like that one so much when I went back on they were still on offer so I got Mermaid Coast as well um, that, well I don't need to show you inside the tubes look the same but the blue one look like that on the back but in reality they look like well like those ones those are all the blue set so again really pretty blues purples um, almost kind of purpley silvers just really pretty paints um, and I, yeah, I think they're really lovely. Um, and very pleased I got them on offer finally. Finally. So I have put them in um, some little uh, half pans. So I've got, I think this is the pink set. Let me check. 319 is, yeah, the pink set. So this row is the pink set, and this row is the blue set. Clearly, I've got one in there that is not one of those because they should be the same amounts. And yet they look like they are. I don't know. I've either lost one out of the blue set or I've gained one somewhere out of the pink set. I also have my uh, Smica um, Super Granulation in here. So this is kind of my Behave Strange palette. <laughs> in my head, that's what I'm calling it. But yeah. 
I've lost one somewhere or I've gained one. Who knows? Anyway, <laughs> I've got them in there. I've not tried them when they dried out in the little pallets yet. I have just used them from the um, tubes to do this and to do the work that I had in the books because I hadn't done this when I'd uh, started using them. But yeah, I'm quite pleased with them. I'm hoping they work okay like this as well. But if not, I've got loads left in there. So I was really pleased with those. Let me move them out the way. Then what else have I got? A couple of Amazon purchases. So obviously I use acrylic paint pens a lot, the fine ones. Um, and yellows in particular are always tricky with paint pens um although i have to say these the yellow in this one actually has been doing really well but i bought these ones before i got these from timo so so i have added in these to the art yellows and browns now i had a load of these before which i have lifted out just one or two of the <laughs> to the art and something else so i have the the old to the art I think I got these in 2020. They don't have any of the windows on them and very few of mine want to work anymore. Um, but loads of people have been recommending these so I thought oh, we'll give them another go um, to see what they're like. I've not used a huge amount of these yet. They, the bodies of them still look pretty similar uh, but you've obviously got this little coloured window that you can see and nibs i don't know if i think they look different i think they do look different ish uh, but not a huge amount different we'll see i've not as you can see from this one i've not basically been activating them until i actually wanted to use them then i've been when i've used them i've soaked the nib at the end in some water in an attempt to keep them working as you can see on mine none of mine have any kind of uh labels on or anything like that i've just done myself one with a little sticker and colored it in and put the number on to help me with them when they were working these were amazing but unfortunately they didn't stay working a huge amount of time and i've tried a few other makes of them what are these ones uh, oh yeah artistro and i've had the same problems with them so we'll see we'll see whether these last a bit longer when they work they're great pens they're stunning pens when they work aren't they so We'll see how long these last and whether I invest in any more or not. Let me get them out of the way. But these, again, loads of people have got them, aren't they? Um, I've just gone for the star, star sparks. Can't say it, but I did go for them. Um, I haven't gone for the other two sets. They're not the cheapest of gel pens, are they? But they are beautiful gel pens. Yeah, I... I was ummed and hard about whether to get these or not and I, I saw a few people had got them and they were like yeah they're great and I'm like they're a gel pen how, how great can they be very good they are they are they are very good I've used them a few times this last month particularly uh, in my finished pages um they they are just so smooth to work with I think that's that's the biggest thing that I've noticed they just flow so easily and they're very smooth flow and they really do let quite a lot of the ink uh, go when you're working with them so you do get a really nice finish this packaging as again a few people have mentioned haven't they is hit or miss as i'm sure you just saw one of mine had gone i find if you twist them a little bit in them they seem to stay <laughs> a little bit better um but yeah i don't know whether they will continue to live in this it's quite um a large container for some gel pens but at the moment they're living in there i've kind of been keeping the little leaflet with them and as you can see i've got a little swatch in there and so far i'm keeping them in the order i've swatched them just because it makes it easier to find the one you want when you're picking them up but yeah they are really beautiful gel pen they're really nicely made they've each got their little name down here i think it just about saved my camera it on to focus there you go so gold and then you've got like this sticker that has it almost has like has a tint of purple through it it's very pretty and then nib is yeah not the thinnest of gel pen nibs but yeah so far it's certainly working extremely well so far i'm really loving these not sure whether i'd get the other ones or not i like a bit of sparkly pens normally i use my uh, uh signo sparkling 
pens a lot. I have been using these more this month. Um, they, at the moment, feel like they're a bit more reliable. They are skipping quite as much, but they're newer, aren't they? So too early to tell yet. But so far, yeah, I have been impressed with these. And I think this set that you get for the sparkling, you get quite a lot of pens in this set. Um, and it, you get this, obviously, little magnetic box that sh shuts back through. Like I say, I'm in two minds about the box, whether they'll stay in them, but they are stunning gel pens. They are worth the money for the pens so far, so far. Then, I did have in one of my, I think it was my scroller boxes, these little um, Pitt Artist Pen Jewel Marker set that was in my scroller box Ooh. a while ago. And when I looked them up, they were pretty expensive but they were beautiful really lovely chunky brush nib on one side and a really nice thick uh, liner on the other side with the same ink in them as the smaller um, pit artist pens so I have the full set of these fine brush pens and I think it, the ink in them is beautiful but I'm not going to use these on a background because they're only little pens and that felt very wasteful so I've been keeping an eye on these and I happened to notice that Jackson's had oh, let's move those ones out of the way Jackson's had this lovely set half price um, so yeah I was this is all of them that they do in this set and uh, yeah again I've done a little swatch on them so you get let me show you these first before we look at the swatch you get all the colours that they do in this big version so it's not as many as these ones for example like those ones <laughs> aren't in this set for example but it's still a good chunk of them you get a little uh, metallic version so silver 251 in a bullet in this little set you get a really chunky 2B pencil that bears no relation to a normal pencil. You see what I mean? No idea what I'll do with that. But I'm like, oh, it's, it's huge. And then a set of um, normal pit pens, so bullet nib. Oh can't remember what the nibs are so I'm gonna have to show you like a little finer bullet nib oh these elastics are tight to get these back in I'm guessing this is brush as it's got a B on it yeah and then I'm guessing this is small brush on the other end oh no bigger brush <gasps> that's confusing uh, hold on while I lose my finger to these elastics because these elastics are evil at the end there we go hurrah and then obviously all the colours, which are these ones. So I thought these would be good for backgrounds in maybe an Amazon book or something like that, where I don't want to use wet, wet media, but I might get away with a bit of Indian ink. Um, but yeah, they're really beautiful pens. Very pleased to have got them at half price. Um, yeah, they just, the big brush is just so, so nice to work with it's just yeah really lovely and obviously Indian ink if you wet it while the ink's still wet you can move it about like watercolour it's only permanently set once it dries out so you can use it like a watercolour brush as long as you catch it quickly enough um, but yeah I thought this was a lovely little set very pleased don't know how much I'll use it I use my pit pens occasionally in my colouring but like I say because they're only little I'm always conscious of oh I don't want to run these out they're too nice to run out so yeah I was supposed to be going on <laughs> Jackson's to get some replacement pencils but then I was like no no you spent up you can't have them so what I did order instead of my replacement pencils was these few little bits and pieces so I've not got any of the super colour softs and I've heard lots of people mentioning them so I thought I want to try these out so I just got a little 12 set and then I thought it'd be quite nice to have just some light colours as well to see how they work 
So I'm going to play about with those a little bit as a little starting set. Let's move them over. And then a couple of brushes. So I just got a new Pentel Fine um, water brush. Although I mixed, I have been using this one, as you can see, it's got water in. It's got very, very pointed nib on it, and it's almost too pointed for me. Uh, like I'm finding it very difficult to actually spot the end of it when I'm working with it, but maybe I just need to practice with it a little bit more. And then I did get uh, one fancy brush, if I can get it out, but you can't. Come on out! Um, so this is a large Roman small pure squirrel brush for my watercolour because I don't have any mop brushes at all for when you're doing a big background and you just want something a little bit softer so I thought I'd try an expensive brush my one and only expensive brush um, and then that's nearly it all I've got then is just a couple of my scroller boxes that will quickly whiz through we won't do the book and any of that so I've got watercolour paper always handy and it's pretty thick watercolour paper 300 GSM 10 sheets and then with that I also got oops, some Magnus uh, Albert Dura pencils so they're like the normal Albert Duras but they are super chunky so uh, light yellow but the Albert Jura and Magnus, I don't think they do these in as many uh, shades as the normal ones. So we can have, obviously they're not Albert Jura's and Albert Jura's are a little bit thicker pencil, but um, they are considerably chunky pencils. It's quite a strange colour palette is my only worry. Like a red would have been nice in there, wouldn't it? But uh, instead I have a grey. What grey is it? Warm grey. I'd have rather have had a red. But I do quite like them and they're so chunky and thick. Right. Let's get a grab a bit of paper. What's that? That will do. If I don't knock everything off. Right, I took actually popped down you know, a lot of colour quickly. I think they will be quite good for that. Where's my little pentel brush gone? Yeah. But yeah, I think they're basically the same as the Albert Jura's, but chunkier. If you want an Albert Jura that will cover more space quickly, that's what these are. But yeah, I was quite pleased with them. Um, and then you've also got, I think it's a masking fluid with a little, sorry for all the plastic. I know plastics are kind of love or hate, isn't it? I personally don't mind it too much, but I know other people absolutely can't stand it. I don't know if this is a nozzle or a brush. Oh, tiny nozzle. Oh, it has a little pin that goes back into it that I haven't got the glasses on, so I'm going to struggle to put back. Oh, goodness, I can't. I'll put it back another time. <laughs> oh, and a brush. Right, is that a pro-out brush? Yeah, pro-out White and Ireland. They're okay. British-made brush. Not going to moan about that. And then my last one Ooh, just stuff stuff everywhere my last little scroll box which again was through quite quickly i've got some ecoline duo tip pens so these not only come in a brush pen don't they but these are duo tips so these have a chisel and a bullet nib in some very subtle colors <laughs> I've got a nice cubit liner, which I like those. Oh, and a pencil, just what we always needed, not. Um, it's mixed media paper. So, yeah, I don't know about these ones. These are, they're nice little watercolour pens, aren't they? But I don't know if I want them in bullet and, ch and chisel, really. I think I'd prefer, I'd prefer them in a brush, but. Yeah, they're okay, aren't they? Usable to water them down a little bit. The colour's not too bad. And I think, oh no, nearly, nearly all of it, nearly all of it. But there's two small little things left. So I also did get from Amazon a case because I got all of these um, acrylic pens from Timu, but that packaging was terrible. So I did get this little pen 
um, holder from Amazon that ooh, literally Velcros that whole bit out. So that's quite handy. I'm quite liking them in there and they're a bit easier to find. As you can see, I've sneaked a Posca in and that's that one that's been on my desk all the time. And then I've also just got a, another uh, pencil case for my uh, Faber-Castell black edition pencils because that packaging was also driving me nuts. So that's one of my next jobs on my list to put all that in there. And that, whew, <laughs> it's all my stuff from, well, from June. Um, and a little bit of May. <laughs> But yeah, just stuff that I've been acquiring slowly over the last couple of months. Uh, hopefully there's something interesting to you. I'll try and put links for particularly the Japanese and Korean books in the description below <laughs> for you. Um, the art stuff, a lot of it was on offer when I bought it at the time. I don't know if it's still on offer now. Like I say, the, the pit pens were on sale for Jackson's. They were half price. Um, as were the watercolours they were on half price but they were Amazon I've not looked today what kind of offers are on for those kind of things but yeah these are the stuff I've been acquiring over the last couple of months hopefully it was something interesting to you thank you so much for watching always interested in your thoughts uh, bye bye